Hello, we look at integration or integrals of inverse sec or arc sec. We want to prove that sec inverse of x dx is given by x sec inverse of x minus natural logarithm of x into bracket uh, 1 plus square root of this part here. So to do this, this of course can be written as this. To do this, what we are going to do, we are going to integrate by part. Where by integration by part, say, function u, v differentiated is equal to u multiplied by v minus integral of u prime uh, v. So we are going to let our u to be sec inverse of x, as shown there. Then, when we differentiate uh, u with respect to x, the result will be x multiplied by, will be 1 divided by x multiplied by square root of x squared minus 1. Now, student, uh, for the process of differentiating uh, trigonometric, inverse of trigonometric function, you can check in my YouTube channel through the link below, or you type my name, look R on 1, and you are going to see how you obtain, how we differentiate uh, inverse of trigonometric function. Now, so our u will be sec inverse of x, and our u prime will be this one. Then we let our v prime to be equal to dx. From there now, we integrate this function both sides. We, we integrate this function both sides. We get integral of v prime and integral of dx. Integral of v prime will give you v. And when we, we integrate x, it will give you x plus c prime. We are, I'm calling this constant c prime because there is another constant. There's another constant you are going to get. Then from there now, we substitute in this formula here. In the state of u, we have sec inverse of x. In the state of v prime, we have d, dx, this one here. This is equivalent to x uh, sec inverse of x. We are substituting here, our u is uh, sec inverse of x, our v is x, that way. M minus, our u prime is 1 over x square root of x squared minus 1. Our v, our v is x dx when we substitute. Now, from there now, this part here, x and x will cancel out to be left with 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 dx. Now, uh, to integrate uh, this part, we use integration by substituting sec theta. So we are going to let our x to be equal to uh, sec theta. Now, then from there now, we differentiate both sides. dx is equal to sec theta differentiated will give you uh, sec theta tan theta, d theta. Now, I have also shared with us on how to differentiate trigonometric function. I have done all the, trigonomet all the trigonometric functions, six of them. So you can check how each one of them is differentiated through step-by-step -step method so that you obtain your value without necessarily uh, cramming. It is not good for you to cram. I have solved that problem for you or that need for you. So you can check in my YouTube channel. Now, the next type is... Uh, the, the identity, we are going to make use of this identity, which tells us that uh, sec inverse of theta minus 1 is equal to tan in and theta <coughs> minus 1 is equal to tan square and theta. Now, uh, then we, we can take square root both sides. Square root of tan square and theta will give us tan theta. Then square root of... Uh, x squared minus 1, we can leave it that way. Now, remember, we have let our x to be equal to sec. So, x substituting with sec theta with the x. So, we will have x squared because it is sec theta squared minus 1, which is equal to tan squared theta. Meaning that tan theta is the same as square root of x squared minus 1. So, we come to here, where you have a square root of x squared minus 1, we substitute it with 
Tanidita. That is what I have substituted here with Tanidita. Now, instead of dx, we substitute it with this value here. dx is equal to sec theta, tan theta, d theta. So we substitute here this part. So we are substituting our dx with sec theta, tan theta, d theta to obtain this value. Now, tan theta and tan theta will cancel, and we are going to be left with integral of sec theta, d theta, as shown here. Integral of sec theta, d theta. Now, uh, also now, I am done for us on how to integrate sec theta and d theta. How do you integrate sec theta and d theta? Now, here, I have only given you the answer because we are dealing with calculus 2, which is integration. So, uh, uh, integration of inverse trigonometric function. But you are now to integrate uh, tr trigonometric function. You can check. I have also done how to integrate uh, sec theta and d theta. But here I have provided the result, which is a natural logarithm of sec theta plus a tan theta. Everything modulus plus a c, c double prime. I'm getting that c double prime because we have another constant here when we are integrating v. Now, uh, then, from there, what we are going to do now, we are, we are going to substitute the value of sec theta. We are let here our, the, our sec theta to be x. So you substitute where sec theta is x, so in the state of sec theta we write x, we, and we, also, we have also found out that uh, tan theta is square root of x squared minus 1, as shown here. So we substitute this value up here to obtain this, plus c double prime. Then from now, now we, we come back to, to our entire question. Our objective was to get the integral of sec inverse of x dx, and we had found this part here. This part here, we had already obtained it above. We had obtained it here. So we are going to put all this together to get our final result as, as x sec inverse of x uh, plus, I mean minus, because of this sign here, minus natural logarithm of x plus square root of x squared plus c plus c. Uh, double prime plus c single prime. Now, these two are a constant of integration, and we can replace them with just a single c, because constant plus constant is a constant. So now, finally, our answer can be written this way. Integral of sec inverse, that is s there, integral of sec inverse of x dx is given by x sec inverse of x, minus natural logarithm of modulus of x bracket 1 plus square root of 1 minus x power negative 2 plus a constant of integration. So that is how we obtain a integration of sec inverse of x by using a integration by part and also by making use of integration by substitution of trigonometric function. For other integration of inverse trigonometric function, I request you to check in my YouTube channel, and you are going to obtain them. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you have not already subscribed, kindly subscribe, and also you can uh, like this, this channel. You can also uh, uh, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a single video which I upload every day for us. Bye-bye, and thanks so much for watching this video.